Imagine dropping in just two images, the first frame and the last, and instantly turning them into a smooth cinematic animation. All you need is a guiding prompt to describe the transformation, and one 2.2's first last frame workflow in Comfy UI does the rest. In this tutorial, I'll show you exactly how to set it up and start creating stunning transitions in minutes. It all started when I saw a video of an IKEA box exploding into a full bedroom. Insane animation, right? They used VEO3, a closed source tool. So I decided to try that scenario myself with WAN 2.2. And honestly, it blew my mind. The workflow takes your first and last frames, fills in all the in-between magic, and gives you smooth, cinematic results. Let's start fresh and get this set up, shall we? First step, update Comfy UI. Go to the Manager tab and click Update Comfy UI to make sure you're on the latest version. Next, grab the first last frame workflow from our written tutorial, links in the description, and drop the JSON straight into Comfy UI. If you see any nodes show up in red, that just means you're missing a custom node. Easy fix! Open the Manager tab again and click Install Missing Custom Nodes. Comfy UI will list out exactly what's missing. Go ahead and install those. Once they're all installed, restart Comfy UI, and when everything loads back, in green, you're ready to go. All right, on to the boring part, but super important. You'll need to download the correct models for this workflow. To make it easy, just head over to our written guide. Links in the description. There you'll find a table with every download link you need, plus notes on exactly which folder each file should go in. We even included a preview of the folder structure so you can double check everything is in the right spot. And yes, we're also using the Lightning LoRa files here. These speed things up big time, so your renders finish way faster without sacrificing quality. With the workflow loaded and all components in place, it's time to try our very first example, a Nike shoe reveal. Start by loading your images into the two image loaders. The first frame should be a strong, detailed shot. It sets the visual style for your animation. The last frame is your destination. In our case, that's the Nike shoe fully revealed. Now comes the prompt. This is the heart of the animation. It's your step-by-step -step direction for how the transformation unfolds. Describe the subject, the movement, the lighting, the atmosphere, and any dramatic reveals. The more precise and vivid you are, the smoother the AI can animate the scene. When writing your own, break it into short, sequential actions. Treat it like directing a cinematic shot. Mention the subject, movement, lighting, mood, and any visual effects you want. This roadmap helps the model generate smooth, cohesive animations rather than jumbled transitions. For this first run, we'll stick with the default settings and hit run. Let's watch as our mystery box transforms into the Nike shoe, fully revealed in cinematic style. And just like that, you've completed your very first run of the first last frame WAN 2.2 workflow. And check it out, look how clean that animation turned out. Now that you've seen this example, let me show you a few other animations I tested while putting together this tutorial. Crazy, right? These are perfect for creating your own animations. But hey, just a heads up, these renders can take a little time. I'm running this on an RTX 4090 using RunPod. For those with local lower VRAM setups, I've got good news. I've prepared a GGUF model version. Head over to the website, download the model that fits your VRAM, grab the workflow, drop it into Comfy UI, and you're good to go. With both in place, you'll be able to generate smooth animations even on a smaller GPU. Alright folks, that's it for this tutorial. Don't hesitate to experiment with your own animations and really test out this workflow. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.